Hey everybody, Dr. Kermit, Guru Chiropractor, back again for another video. This is my new patient, Joaquin. Nice to nice meet you, you and I appreciate you coming. You drove two hours, two hours. from Let's upstate see. New York. Yep. You found me on the internet on TikTok, right? On TikTok, yeah. All right, and he's got a very interesting story. Um, he's lucky to be alive uh, considering the trauma that he went through. You want to tell him a little bit, if you're okay or I'll yeah, tell him. No All right, tell him a little bit about like what happened to you and then what's bothering you and how, you know, and then we'll roll into an exam because I'm, I'm more interested in fixing you, but yeah. they, they got to know what's going on first, so. Well, in 2018, I had a really bad truck accident in my pickup truck. I was going up the highway, was going to run into a truck, press the brake, slid, end up flipping the truck about seven times across the highway. I was I didn't have my seatbelt on was I was lucky because the driver's seat crushed in, threw me out to the rear window. Once it threw me out to the rear window, I was pinned between the back seat. So basically my from my waist up, I was laying inside of the bed of the truck while the rest was pinned inside the truck. I ended up with I was flown to Westchester Medical with five fractures on my spine, about twenty three bruises all over my body, and uh, a sprained shoulder and uh, basically it got you yeah and you're dude for that kind of trauma you're lucky you're alive yeah. and there was, I, I i'm i'm shocked that there was no other no, fractures and no other internal you know damage thing uh -huh. wow so you're lucky or blessed something yeah well so now fast forward you got a lot of stuff going on right you got chronic back pain yeah. every day and then you got pain shooting down into the legs every day uh, also, neck chronic neck pain and headaches, and you got shooting yeah. down into the arms. So you're pretty Basically, jacked up. My whole body, except, you know, every... can't sleep because you can't get comfortable. Oh. Headaches every day, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. So my heart goes out to you, and I want to do everything I can to help you out. I'm going to try my best to help you today. So hopefully you'll be walking out feeling a little better. That's my intention. That's my prayers, and I'm going to work hard to make that happen. Yep. Awesome. So let's let's roll into an exam because I I still need to examine you. Then once we're done with the exam, we'll talk about treatment, and then hopefully we'll roll right in and we'll do a good job for you, and you'll feel a little better. So what I need you to do is shift over here a little bit. I'm putting my clipboard down. I'm gonna come behind you. We're gonna check the upper part while you're seated, and then we'll lay down and we'll do a good look at the lower back. Okay. So from this point on, anything that I'm doing to you, if it doesn't feel right causes any flare-up of any kind of pain whatsoever, let me know verbally. All right. All right. So, and just relax. That's all you got to worry about. I'll do everything else. Can you sit up a little straighter or does that hurt you? Oh, right yeah. All right. Stay comfortable. Honey. You don't have to force yourself for now. So I'm just feeling the neck first. It's interesting because the tone of your muscles is pretty good. It's not really super tight in here. The lower neck has a little bit more tension, but again, not super tight in the muscles. There is some joint jamming, I feel it in here. Is that yeah. sore? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. This side, not so much. No, right yeah. Here. Were you telling me it's going down the ar right arm more than yeah. the left? Yeah, that makes sense. And then the upper upper, which is the up topmost bone in your neck, C1, or they call it the atlas, because in Greek mythology, atlas held up the world, yeah. and that bone holds up your skull. So that's why they call it the atlas bone. Yeah. And it's pretty jammed up here on this right side, which is, um, you know, correlated with the headaches, yeah. definitely, and the shoulder and the arm and the neck. So we're going to work hard to release up here and release down here. Let's see how well you're turning. So turn as far as you can this way. It's, 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 it stops here. Yeah. Should be able to go here. Mm -hmm. So it's probably like 30% restricted on that side. This side, oh boy, there's the face too. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. I don't want to force it, but right there it starts yeah. hurting. Yeah. Yeah, that's about 50% impaired. And where's it hurting? Here or here? It feels, yeah, but it feels like a stretch. Oh, yeah. Stretching here, but where's the pain? You made a yeah. face. The pain's on this side. Yeah, okay, when you, okay, here's what I've observed over the years. When, when you feel it on the side you turn into, it's the joint that's jamming. When you feel it on the other side, it's the muscle pulling. So that tells me there's definitely joint jamming on that side as well as this side. I don't want to do, oh, let's go backwards with your head as far as you can. Does that cause any pain? No. Any dizziness? No. Good. Chin down forward as far as you can. Is I just, it I just feel pulling? Pulling, yeah. Here? Does it pull in the lower too or just no, here? Just, the just there. Yeah. All right, come on up, come on up. Now, I, I hate doing this when somebody's really uh, jacked up, but I'm going to do a little thrust downward to add a little more compression. 
Let me know if that flares up anything like shoots down the arm or makes the pain worse. Right. I'm not going to do too much of a push because I don't want to flare you up that bad. But let's see what happens. Stay relaxed. Does that made it, did it make it anything feel worse? Oh, good, good, good. I'm nothing at all. Good. <laughs> Amen. Um, the next thing is the opposite. I'm going to stretch your head right. up, do a little distraction, open up the disc a little bit. Let me know how that in general feels for you. Like, good, I like that. I want more. No different neutral or yuck. All right. All right. Stay as relaxed as you can. Head coming up a little bit. Okay. So in general, how'd that feel? Like good, yeah. no different or bad? No different. Really. No different. Yeah. Okay. That's an option. Now I want you to go belly down. So put your face here. Rest your hands on the side cushions. You comfortable for a little bit there? Okay. Good. So now I'm going to check your lower back. I'm going to take a little peek at your posture first from this position. Sometimes that gives me some valuable information, sometimes not. So up in the shoulders, it looks like, uh, hold on, hold on. All right, looked like you had a little bump, bump there, but I think that's, shoulders don't look too bad, but the hips are rotated pretty severely to the right. So it's going like this, whoop, and it's stuck that way. It's torqued to the right. That's the pain I feel a lot. But, but, but it's level. So in other words, it's not high on one side. It's level this way, but it's twisted. Now I'm gonna bend up your knees, right? Normal, you should really just feel it pulling in your quads. Uh -huh. But when I bend them up, if you feel anything flaring up here, any more pain or more pulling or more tightness, let me know. <clears throat> bend, 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 bend. Okay, coming up. How's that feel? What that? What is that doing in your lower back when I do this? Just stretch it a little bit. Okay, so you feel it pulling a little extra. Is it this? Is it like uncomfortable or it just feels no. not bad? Okay, actually that's good. That's promising. Now I want to check the integrity or the, the the range of motion or the mobility of your sacroiliac joints. That's a joint between your tailbone and your hip bones. To me, again, it feels like that right side, all tight here. Yeah, yeah. Much tighter than the left. Feel it? Yeah. Feel the wiggle and then feel the not wiggle? Yeah. yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press down on your tailbone just to stabilize it. I want you to start with your left leg. Don't bend it at the knee, keep it all the way straight, all the way down, lift it up as high as you can go. All right, good, bring it down. That's not as high as it should go, first of all. Did it cause any pain when you lifted? Okay, so let's try that right side. Yeah, you could barely get it up. Pain when you tried to lift? Yeah. Where, here or in anywhere else but here? Yeah. So the whole, the whole lumbar spine is, is jammed up, but it's, it's a lot worse on this right side. Yeah. So we're going to put major emphasis to clear this out. When I press in here, does it feel sore? Ah, you yeah. jump, so yeah, sore, tender? That's where right there is this like ground zero yeah. like the main it yeah. hangs between the two like but... yep here's the tailbone yeah. and then this is between l5 s1 and then that's l5 and then that's l4 is it l4 too still bother you yeah. l3 is that's yeah. yeah l2 not as bad all right so basically you got the lower lumbars l3 4 or 5 l4 5 s1 by the way, the most common area for back problems on the planet, right there. Second most, here. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go up, check up the spine. Middle back feels a little tight, but not horrible. Like right here is tight. Not bad here. But once I get here, it's really jammed. Yeah. That's the transition between your neck and your shoulders. And it's just a high spot for stress. Is that so? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the right side. Not so bad here, right? And then upper. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. More left or right or both? Right. Yeah, it's all on the right side. I think it was whole side. Yeah. Okay. So, nothing showed up for safety issues. And you, you know, you're presenting with the exact stuff that I deal with on a daily basis. So, I feel feeling confident that if it's, if, 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 you're treatable and this is and you're possible to help, that this is gonna help you. All right, 
and it's definitely you know there's there's no big contraindications for safety, so it's as safe as it's going to be for 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 safety. So I'm ready. You ready too? So here's the game plan. You stay right there. I'm going to start. I'm going to just stretch you out a little bit, do a little massage, kind of like a warm up, right? You're an athlete, you know. Warm up before you work out. So I like to warm up my patients before I do the big stuff. Your job, nothing. Just stay relaxed and give me a heads up if anything that, that I'm doing don't feel too good, okay? And I'll do everything else. So after we do the stretch out, then we're gonna go right in the back room. We're gonna get you set up for the ring dinger. That's gonna decompress the whole spine from the top of the neck all the way down to the tailbone. And off camera, we talked about uh, why Dr. Johnson named it ring dinger. But so now that you know, you, it makes it more sense, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. <sighs> Once I get in this area, is it painful when I'm pushing on it? Because this is the super yeah. tight area. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, nice. Good. Just a little warm up. Now I'm going to use the thumper massager a little bit for the muscles a little more. So you got four kids you were telling me off camera, right? God bless you. What, four girls and one boy, you said? Is the boy the youngest? No. I was going to say, you kept getting girls, you kept trying for the boy. And then finally, no? I got a 14-year-old, 21, 24, 28. Nice. So you had a little break in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> And then you decided to get more, get make some more babies. Yeah. There you go. Wow. What? When I put the massager there, pain. So that even here. Yeah, I'm not gonna go near that again. So that's it's hypersensitive, meaning it's overly sensitive. A lot of times when you have a chronic pain the soft tissue and the nerves get really tweaked up and fired up and it becomes hypersensitive. So that's, unfortunately, that's what's going on. You, we talked a little bit in the health history, you told me a little bit about, you know, some things that you do for yourself to try to give yourself, you know, some relief. Ice is going to be very helpful for here. I would stay away from heat right now, but I would ice the crap out of it. Ice is, I, I love ice therapy. I love cryotherapy. It's super effective to reduce inflammation, swelling, and ice is a very powerful pain reliever. Very powerful. It's temporary, but, and pretty much zero side effects when you use an ice. Well, when you use an ice pack, yeah, it's very safe. If you jump in a frozen lake, you know, you're gonna die. <laughs> but. When you use it for therapeutically with an ice pack, zero, zero negative side effects. And uh, if you've got a freezer in your house, it's free. You don't even have to pay for it. So it's a really great therapy. I, I, I push icing a lot with my patients. Yeah. And full transparency. I got an ice pack on my back every night after work <laughs> when I'm sitting chilling out watching Netflix on the couch, I'm icing my lower back. Cause I, I stress out my lower back every day working on you guys. I'm, I'm like you, I'm a patient just as much as I am a doctor. Good question. I got about, you know, a bunch of buddies in, in the local area that I could pop by to get a general adjustment. And then I got a guy in the Poconos that does a modified pull. And then we, we swap, he comes here every couple months and I go up to him every couple months and we treat each other. Yeah. Yeah, man. I was a patient before I was a chiropractor. I was hooked on chiropractic for myself. I grew up um, in sports, but my main sport was martial arts. So I used to jack myself up all the time and 
my local chiropractor, you know. Oh, sorry, I don't want to go on that side. And it's interesting because the right side is feels like it's all the more more jacked up, but this side seems more sensitive. Yeah. When you're ready, come on up on your feet. We're going into the back room and we're gonna get you set up on the ring dinger. Okay. Now, I'll talk you through it. Keep your hands up a little higher. I gotta feel your hips because we gotta line you up properly on the table. You're high, so I need you to come down about three inches towards your feet. A little bit more, one more. Perfect, right there. Good. Straight, yeah. Now, the table's just gonna raise up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're here, baby. And I tell all, all my patients who are, are fans and watch before they come in, I don't care if you watch 100, you don't know this until you feel it. Yeah. But when in a second, <laughs> you're going to know it. So now the legs are raising up. The legs raise up because it rotates your pelvis this way, flattens out your lower back and relaxes it and stacks your vertebrae like dominoes because normally your lower back is curved this way. Uh -huh. So it stacks like around the rainbow. But when your legs come up, it flattens out the curve and now they stack like dominoes and they're easier to release. That's why the legs are up. Good. <clears throat> okay, now we got a pinion pretty tight here above the hips with these big titanium padded pins. Mm -mm -mm. If it's too tight, let me know, but it's gotta be snug. Seems pretty good. You good with that? Yeah, I'm good. Nice. All right. It'll be fine. Now, let me have your hands back to me. This is not the treatment. I'm just doing a little pull to make sure there's no slack between your hips and the pins. Good. All right. Relax them down. Now, we use the towel. The towel goes around your neck, but really it grabs your skull and your jaw like this. But I can't get enough good enough grip with just my hands are too small. So this gives me a better grip. Since you're new, I like to explain everything so you know what's up. Keep you in the know and keep you in the loop. We spray it with a little tequila on Saturdays just for, cause so we could do a little partying while we're, that's water. Just, it, just so we don't, so my hands don't slip. Oh, after this, you're going to a wedding? Three o'clock this afternoon. All right. That's hey, listen. Here, I mean, I Even here. if you feel really good, I wouldn't go too crazy on the dance floor today. No, Take it easy. <laughs> Don't, some guys feel great walking out, and they overdo it, and then they're back the next week with, with the same problem. Yeah, no, no. Lift up your neck. All right, come down. <clears throat> it should not choke you, so if it's too tight around your throat, right away let me know. You good with that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, since you watch all my videos, what am I going to say next? What's the most important thing you got to worry about? Um, I'm putting you on the spot. Um, not bite your tongue. Yes, keep your teeth gently your teeth together, teeth but tongue. gently. Don't bite hard, but yeah. just definitely keep them touching together. Uh -huh. So when I pull, you don't bang your teeth. All right. And that's really all you got to worry about. I'll do everything else. Are you ready to get well? I'm ready. All right, give me a second. Keep those teeth. Get your breath from this way. No, right from there. Right from there. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, yeah. All right, so give me a second. I'm just going to center myself, visualize the perfect pull and the perfect results. Say a little prayer. And then we're going to do it. So I'm just getting a grip first. Nothing happening yet. Bring your chin slightly down. Nope, down towards your feet. Stay relaxed. Oh. And boom. Oh, shoot. Relax. Oh. Whew, you were pinned. Oh. Keep breathing. If there's any discomfort, it will pass. Oh. Yeah. I felt it all back. Amen. You felt back. all the way down, too? All the way. Amen, bro. So that's the ring digger. Now you know because you felt it. No pain, no? Any, was it painful? So once in a while, somebody complains. It was just on my hips. It was tight. Yeah. Sorry, that was fine. Honestly, the, the only complaint I ever get as far as a little injury is people get a little bruising here from the pins. Because, but it's part of the procedure. You can't get around it. Yeah. 
if you want your spine released, you need to have that pin. Um, all right, sounds like a good release. I'm going to lower the table. Don't get up too quick. I want to do a little more twist in your neck to release more. And then we'll get you up and see how you feel. And then we'll go back on that table. All right. Stay there. Okay. You need a little time to chill or are you ready to move on? All right. Let me see what's going on in this neck. Okay. Feels better than it did before the pull, but there's still a little tension. So stay relaxed. There we go. Good on that side. Stay relaxed. There. Beautiful release. Good. Okay. We're done here. All right. When you're ready, come up. Don't take, you know, don't rush. When you're ready, stand up. Stop for a second once you're standing and evaluate how you feel and tell the camera. Or tell oh, me. Man, Can you tell? Gone. Really? Gone. Woo! Back here. Yeah, it feels good. Oh, yeah, I'm looser. Yeah, Your posture good. looks a little more upright and put, put, put the camera on his face. His face, I look at face, I'm hundreds of people. You look like you just woke up from the best eight hours yeah, of your, absolutely. because absolutely. what happens is, it's almost like you get a reboot in the, the whole nervous system relaxes and you, people just look like they're feeling yeah, better. So, right. and that's what your face looks like. Yeah, Dude, right. I'm happy. I want to say one thing though. This doesn't happen every single time. So if you're watching this, I don't want people out there to expect that pain just goes automatic all the way with one pull not on every single patient. Some patients, you get a little reduction, they gotta come back a few visits before it really starts calming down. But for him, amen, we'll take it, right? Cool, all right, go back on that table, lay back on your belly. Let's double check a few of those tests that we did in the beginning, see if anything changed on the test results. <laughs> and then we're gonna do more. So right off the bat, that twist in your hips, it's not gone 100%, but I'd say it's 70, 80% yeah. better. Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna bend up your knees again. Remember what it felt like the first time? Yes. All right, when I bend it, tell me if it feels the same or hopefully better. Tell me what it feels like after, after this time. Bend, 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 bend. How's it feel now up there? It's zero? Dude. I'm gonna put you, I might have to put you in that miracle category. That's some good stuff right there, bro. I'm happy for you. Still got a little jamming here and still got some jamming here. So we're gonna, now we're gonna do some of that drop through here to release more. Um, move your body down like two inches, right there. Good. So the be belly drops down to give me more room to, to push down on it. Actually, I lied, scoot up a teeny bit towards your head. There you go, right there. This pops up and when I push on you, it's gonna go boom. Stay relaxed. Let me know if it don't feel right. Okay? Good. Oof. Relax. Good. Bingo. Boom. Nice. These are getting the sick. Really axe looser. Good. Good. Still tighter than normal, but a lot looser than when we started. Let's try again. Bend, 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 bend. Still feels good? That's, that's music to my ears. Amen. So now let's do this one where you lift your leg again. So lift that one. No bend, no bend. Stiff all the way. Yep. Oh, nice. Go down. That went up about three inches higher than last time. Let's do this side. Look at that. Bring it down. Any pain when you lift it? Come on. You couldn't even get this off the table the first time. Look at that. I can't ask for a better result for, for one visit. That's awesome. All right, so now this is happy for today. We'll do a few more things, but the main stuff for, for, for down below is done and it responded beautifully. Now we're gonna work up this way. So we're gonna do a little drop through the thoracic and then the uh, lower neck. And then we'll do, we'll check it, some more things. Stay relaxed. Good. Good. There we go, good. How's this feel now when I squeeze? Is it less sore? It's way softer. 
but I think there's, there's yeah, there's a little more in there. We're gonna get it in a second. First, we're gonna get the left side. Look straight up to the sky, tilt to the right, stay relaxed. Good. Now we do the other side. Right about there, about T1. Look up, at, up to the sky, tilt to the left, stay relaxed. Oh. There it goes. Beautiful. Now feel the difference? Yeah. I'm squeezing hard in there, you're not wincing. Uh -huh. That's good. All right. Roll over on your back. Good. Now let me get your hands back to me. We're just gonna do a little stretch. Yep. For the shoulders, the arms, the wrists. And then we're gonna do a little pull and you might get even more release in your back. Stay loose. Oops, sorry. Gripped. Boom. Now slide your body down a little bit more towards the feet. All right, good. All right, you okay getting the toes popped in the feet? Got nice socks on today, matching this, the outfit. Boop. Is this, what is this, Christian Dior? No, Louis Vuitton. Oh, look, sorry. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a name brand guy. <laughs> Louis Vuitton. Although I did buy my son some Louis Vuitton glasses that he loves. They were priced. Oh, oh they were Versace. Oh, see, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a little tug at the ankle. Just stay relaxed. Loose. Boom. We got a little bump here. Does that hurt you here? No. All right, just checking. All right, now we're going to do a little pull here. Stay loose. Oh, major. All right, you're doing great, bro. When you're ready, sit up if you need my help. Swing around, face a decent way. We're going full circle back to where we started. <clears throat> sit up a little straighter if you can. Good. Turn. That one was pretty good to begin with. Let's see. Not No pain? No pain. Okay. It's still a little tight, but it's looser than before, and you didn't jump when we turned that way. That's good. That's really awesome. Okay. The upper C1 uh, Alice cleared with the pull. Right. Sometimes it doesn't, and then I have to do some other work, but it's pretty clear. So that means... Basically, this is like the headache button for people. Yeah, so, so I'm hoping and I'm expecting that the headaches will subside too. All right. Um, I want to finish. We're going to adjust the shoulder joint, elbow, wrist, some of the fingers, and we'll be done for today. All right. Start on this side. What you got to do is bend your arm in front. Okay, I got to hug around you. All right. Get under the elbow and go boom. Don't punch yourself in the face. Do Relax. <laughs> Good. Give me this one. Loose, 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 loose. Relax. Good. Coming around. A little bit for the elbow, nothing crazy. Drop, drop, drop. Boom. Loose short, wrist, wrist, wrist. There we go. If, it don't get, if we don't get it on the way down, we'll get it on the way down. <laughs> All right, when I say go, I want you to pull back this way. Right. Ready, go. Bingo. Good. Drop, drop, give, give. A little sandy in there. Pull. Got it. That's the one that's always cracking on me. And I get a lot of pain on this arm. Done. How do you feel? I feel 100% bright. Dude, I wish everybody responded like you, and then I'd be a millionaire, and I'd have a waiting list of a six-month yeah. waiting list. It doesn't happen every time, but when it happens, we celebrate it, and we're happy, and we, we thank God, too. This is the best um, two hours I drove down to come see you, and, and I feel like... Brand new. Dude, I'm very happy for you. Keep a monitor, you know, monitor for the next two or three or four days. Because yeah. good, even more good things could, could happen. Because you don't really heal today. Today, you get released. Released, yeah. After you get released, then your body has to do uh, a certain amount of healing and repairing. That help happens over the next, I don't know, we don't know exactly, three to seven days. Right. So things could still be changing. If after that time... Well, do an evaluation about three or four days from now, a final evaluation about how this helped you. If you feel like you're 100% you're, you're, you're happy with how you feel, then you really don't need to come back for a follow-up right away. 
if you feel like it's a certain percentage better, but not all the way better, which is usually what happens, that means, yes, this is helping you, but you need a few more follow-ups probably. So if you decide you want to, which I'm assuming you would, then try to get back in a week or two, no later than two weeks, but try to ideally next week if you could. All right, yeah, that's not a problem. And then you know what we talked about? If you want to do a couple visits while you're here, you're welcome to come and you're welcome to come in the morning and do one in the morning and one in the wow. evening. That's what Dr. Johnson did for many many years with his travel inpatients. Yeah. He saw him twice a day for three days in a row and sent him home, and great results. Nobody got injured from over treatment. So as far as I'm concerned, if you're far away yeah. and you want more bang for the buck without having to go back and forth so many times, that's the better way to do it. All right, yeah. Um, yeah. All right, any questions? All right, yeah, Ice it if it's sore. Right. And if you have any issues where a flare up or something new or something that you're concerned about, because occasionally after a big release, it gets a little turbulent before it calms down. So if that happens to you, just reach out to Zach, right. let him know, he'll tell me. And as soon as I get a break from training, I'll call you All right, and we'll just do a check in just to make sure you're good. Definitely. All right, brother. Thank you, doctor. Bro, I love it when this happens. This This is is what gets me out of bed when I'm sore and cranky every morning. Wait, wait, wait. Don't get away. Let's just say goodbye to the audience. So, Guru Chiropractor, Big Joaquin here, doing a lot better. I think he's getting his life back. We hope. Um, If you need some of this, if you saw this and you relate and you're suffering out there and you want to give it a try and come to uh, Edison, New Jersey to see this little crazy chiropractor, come on through. I'll do my very best for you. For you from my heart. The best way to reach me is text my assistant, Zach, at uh, 908-224-3080. You could also go to the website, retrochiropractic.com. All my info's there. I'm all up front about my fees, my locations, my hours, a little more information about me. And there's a book now link on the website. If you don't want to reach right out, you could just put your info in there. It goes to us. And my assistant, Zach, will reach out to you. And he'll work it out with you guys. And hopefully you get in here and I'll do, do good for you too. Love and appreciate you. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. Peace out.